Okay, we are going to do a quick little video. Um, questions is, I can't get the hook assembly off the shaft. I don't know if you can see from there, but I have, I did get both of the screws out in there. I'll turn it a little bit so you can see there's the screw is out. The other screw is out, but this hook assembly is kind of rusted on the shaft. So what I'm going to use is basically I've got a big uh, chisel. Just I, I just went to the shop and found anything that would fit in here in the um, down there in that in that slot. And I'm just going to use a little bit of little bit of pressure, but it's a really long chisel, so I got a lot of torque. And the chisel point is going all the way towards the base of the the back of the hook assembly. Um, so I'm not pressing out there on the end. You don't want to, just real quick, you don't, April, if you can shine down here, you don't want to like hook a pliers or anything on this and try to pull it off. You can see this is an old one here. It's all rusty and everything. Um, so I'm just going to use this chisel here and hopefully I can, I can just pop it loose now that the screws are out. So, yep, and it popped off. And basically the reason it popped off so easy is because this long, long um, uh, chisel has has a lot of torque because of the length of the handle and let's see if I can pull it off the rest of the way yeah a little thread and stuff back behind there but um, there isn't anything else to hold it on once those screws are are off there shouldn't be anything holding it on so if you've got varnish and old oil and stuff that is stuck on there you can in these holes you could pour a little penetrating oil and uh, let it sit for a while and see if that'll that'll loosen it up and uh, after that it should just pop off, but as you can see what I did here is I put the chisel point clear down here at the base so that I'm not out here going to bend on anything, but it's just right here and it'll just pull off that way. So I hope that helps.